to see the best cyclists in the world give their absolute best effort on the Poggio and test each other and look each other in the eye and say, do you have what it takes to beat me? That's what bicycle racing is all about at any level. It, bo it boils down to that, but today I saw it at the absolute highest level. Uh, we're all using uh, the arrow frame here. It needs to be as most arrow as possible. We use uh, 54, 40 chain rings and uh, 1130 cassettes. Here we will use uh, mainly high wheels because uh, it's almost flat the whole day, only at the end we have some bumps. How do you pronounce? Peter? Kia Nielsen. How does it feel to be racing in Italy? Racing on the Orca Aero feels always fast, so it doesn't matter the country. Eh? Uh, my opinion. Saremo is also a quite simple race. Uh, first of all, of course, you need to have the legs, but it's all concentrated into the last 40 kilometers. So that makes it quite easy, tactic-wise. But still, everybody thinks the same. It's the same goal, the, the same points that are marked. How does the bike feel? Next to Maxim, it's always hard. <laughs> no, the bike is very good. We have uh, very soft tires. We're riding on clouds today. You know, the first 50k, they are not yet super fast, so that's what we do today. And tomorrow from the start, we save energy all the time. I think Milan Sanremo is by far the race. I will stop for a pee, I'm sorry. When you go to, let's say, Flanders, it can happen anywhere. There is 270k and it can happen anywhere, but it's most of the time one of the top favorites that wins the race. Milan Sanremo, it happens in five minutes. But the, the winner is unpredictable. Eccoci qua, pronti per la primavera. Classicissima, Milano Sanremo domani. I would say the team goal from all six of the others is to bring Maxime in third, fourth, fifth position at the bottom of Poggio. Sure. From there on, it's going to be for him. He's going to have to do a super good Poggio, he's gonna have to do a super good descent, then he's gonna have to do a super good move tactical wise when he goes or doesn't go, uh -huh. and then he's gonna have to do a good sprint, so that's a lot of good things he needs to do. What are you cooking today? Today for our riders I'm cooking uh, pasta, but I will make later the pasta. This is for the recovery tomorrow. This is for lunch, chicken breast. As you can see, I have in the oven uh, the bread, if you want to take a look at it. What do you cook the best? What do people tell you? Do you, pizza. you do your best? Pizza. Which pizza? I like to make pizza, yes. Which one? Any kind. And you love cooking, eh? I love it. I love the uh, cycling uh, world, you know? That's why I'm here. We take a look at the bread. I bring my own flour from home. But you know, everyone's waiting for your pizza, eh? Yes, I will do it on, in Blue Woods in Belgium next week. It's always my dream to be a professional vlogger, so today I take you during my day. This is Gary, our mechanic. He loves uh, cars and uh, motorcycles. It's crazy, Gary. No, it's not like this. You look a lot of YouTube videos. Eh? This is Lara, or Dietken. Dietken. 
to uh, prepare our food and our uh, gels during the race. This is Bram, it's my Swanier. He gave me a massage today, he's a really good guy. I will uh, let his uh, number in the bio, like this you can app him. He is so yeah, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, so they will be eating a lot and drinking a lot. We made some plans for some riders, you can see here, they will put it on the bike and also on the second bike. What's basically in the pockets of the riders. So we have the bottles. Uh, the white one is without sodium and the red one is with sodium. Then in the pockets there's also um, small coke. We have some caffeine gels. This is more for the end of the race. So we plan out some points where they can take the caffeine so they can get an extra punch towards the final clam. Their favorites. They like it very much. It's like little, yeah, actually little sweets on a bike. So uh, they don't mind eating well, a couple, four, five, maybe six of them. What happens if, if you don't eat enough? If you don't eat enough, then you get a phenomenon called bonkers. You can have a sugar, sugar rush, but you can also have a sugar dip and that's called bonkers. So you can cramp if you don't eat and drink enough. You can just don't have any energy anymore. You can push the watts anymore. And then you just drop, and then on the Cipressa and on the Poggio, it's ciao ciao. The team of Lotto Destiny, the new bike for this season, the Orbea bike. Tantan, what can we expect from today's sandwich? For today, it's Italian style. This uh, with uh, ham and olive oil and uh, just a little bit salad. Easy. Surprise? Uh, maybe. For sure, it's always a little bit surprise. But I hope it's good also. Okay? Thanks, mate. It's beautiful. Eh? beautiful. It's one of my four, uh, favorite races of the year. You'll be back here. Yeah, of course. Yesterday I came to the Paggio so I could see the most decisive moments in Milan San Remo. And looked at that. I mean, I was laying in bed, I grabbed my phone, and that's what I shot. It's beautiful, right? Eh? Yeah, oh my God. The top of I, the Poggio, eh? On the top, yeah, I'm on the Poggio, that's enough. That's enough. If that was a black curtain, to be on the Poggio the day before Salam, yeah. Mar I mean, Milan San Remo, that would be enough. But to but look the out here. It even more special, eh? Oh my God, it's, it's overwhelming. I want to tell my friends back home 
when it feels like it's impossible. So Milan San Remo in one word? The Paggio. It's always on the Paggio. No matter, I mean, there's 250 kilometers of hard riding before that. There's the depressor, there's tactics, but it always ends up on who can hammer each other on the Paggio into submission.